the proportions of Trench 1 become greater each day. While Grace makes painstaking progress in the sun, Brian Sloan reminds us of the importance of Trench 1. Um, the reason why we put this trench in originally was to pick up the ditch feature that we saw in the geophysics. Uh, and we think as we've gone down through the topsoil and the cloud soil, we think we've picked it up. We're starting to pick up the edges and delineate the feature. So you can see just in front of me where the, where the orange clay runs out and we're into the brown fill of the ditch. So it'll be a job now for tomorrow to start going down in through these layers, sort of filling up the ditch. And hopefully through that we'll find up uh, bits of pottery or bits of clay pipe, hopefully dating to the 17th century. Any exciting finds today? Brian? Not out of this trench per se now. Um, in trench two, just the small one, just uh, further, just up to the like, to the east there, uh, there was another musket ball found, uh, early 17th century musket ball. So we're getting artifacts of the right period for the fort. Hopefully when we get down into the ditch now, we'll actually get stratified artifacts and they'll mean a lot more to the story of the site. Archaeology isn't all about digging holes. Rory McNeary and Kieran Westley from the Centre for Marine Archaeology at the University of Ulster cast off in a boat laden with sophisticated electronic equipment to survey the riverbed adjacent to the site to see if there are any significant objects under the water. While Rory and Kieran crisscross the river, the work on terra firma continues in the blazing sun. Suddenly, traces of wooden posts appear in Trench 2, and a debate begins as to their significance. Could they be part of the ramparts that surrounded the fort? That's cool. The I'm not so sure about the second one. Like. Well, the second one uh, certainly is a concentration. Yeah. You know, it could just... Yeah, I mean, and in fairness, these are just appear in a section, so um, we're not going to be able to, unless we decide... No, we can sample them, them, but yeah, we can absolutely. sample from the section after yeah, you... I mean, so, they, so these wouldn't be part of a palisade, these would be presumably to knit the whole thing together because mm -hmm. they're solo down Like a different yeah. timber framework. Yeah. Like right. an eye in inside, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The rampart. So they build like an A-frame or whatever yeah. and they use that, tie it, all tie it all together. Now that'll have implications for you in this site. Yeah. Um, I'm just scraping to get it level down. We're not going to be able to do it in one day, but we're just trying to get it down level with that. Every hour that passes reveals more of the history of Dunalong Fort. <laughs>